Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to simplify this expression. So the first thing we need to do is I notice I see parentheses. And automatically when I see parentheses, I always look to see if I can apply the distributive property. And when you apply the distributive property is when you have a term being multiplied by your parentheses. Now even before I do that, I want to make sure, can I simplify inside my parentheses? And since negative 5 and 6a are not like terms, I cannot combine them. Nor is negative 5a plus 7 like terms, so I can combine those as well. However, so then the next thing I need to do is apply the distributive property. So I'm going to multiply what's being, what number I'm multiplying by the parentheses. I need to make sure I multiply that number times both terms inside the parentheses. Now notice this 6a is negative. So you've got to make sure when you multiply that, you're multiplying a negative 6a times negative 5a and a negative 6a times 7. So therefore, I obtain 2a times negative 5, 2a times a 6a, and then negative 6a times negative 5a, and then negative 6a times 7. So in completing this, when I multiply a number times a number with a variable, 2a times negative 5 is going to be a negative 10a. And that's a positive 2a. So there's a plus there. 2a times 6a is going to be a positive 12a squared. Then negative 6a times a negative 5a is going to be a positive 30a squared. And negative 6a times 7 is going to be a negative 42a. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to apply uh, combining by like terms. Now remember like terms are um, going to be terms that have exactly the same factors. So these factors have numbers and a. So I could can combine this only with factors with numbers and a. You can tell, you can notice here that these two numbers don't have the same type of factors. These have a squared, these have two factors of a, where these only have a. Therefore, I can only combine my factors of a squared plus a squared and negative 10a plus negative 42a. Or this is 12a squared plus 30a squared. So negative 10a minus 42a plus 12a squared plus 30a squared. So what I did is I just rewrote the expression with the like terms next to each other. It just makes it a little bit simpler for me to look at this and say negative 10a minus 42a is a negative 52a. And 12a squared plus 30a squared is going to be a positive 42a squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now I've simplified this expression down to this. There you go. Thanks so much.